Welcome back everyone. So finally Microsoft has released Windows 10 build new update that has been published on November 20, 2023 and you can read it says hello Windows Insider today we are releasing Windows 10 22H2 build KB5032278 to the release preview channel for those insider who are on Windows 10 version 22H2. Now you can read here below with this update we are beginning to roll out Copilot in Windows for devices running Windows 10 version 22H2 Home and Pro Edition. And you can see the preview here that the Copilot has been enabled on your Windows 10. Okay, so without any delay, let's see that how you have to enable this on your Windows 10. So first you will have to update your Windows. So click on your Windows search, type update, click on check for update. And you will have to click on check for update or you can see on my end there are lots of update available so i will click on install now and just wait until this all update are completed you also have to do the same you have to click on check for update and let the computer get updated okay so the update that we had has been completed now and it asks us to restart but if you just have a look here, the update version, the one that is mentioned over here that says AB5032278, that has not been mentioned over here. That means we have to restart and again we have to check for the update. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and restart now. Okay, so finally the computer has been restarted. And now once I open the Microsoft Edge, it says your browser has been updated to the newest version. So we can see the Copilot here, but we have to bring this on our Windows 10. Okay, so for that, next what you have to do, again, click on your Windows search, type Windows Update, click on check for update. And this time it will say check for update. So you have to click on it again. So there is one more update available so you have to wait until it's all been downloaded so what you need to keep in your mind that you have to update all the update available on your windows 10 okay so once it will be all done we will have to go and join the windows insider program because you can read here that it's available in the release preview channel okay so what we have to do next we will wait okay the update is completed now we have to click on windows insider program then click on get started and this will ask you to pick an account to get started so you have to click on link an account then click microsoft account click on continue and then you have to enter your microsoft account whichever you use and in case if you don't have one then you can click on create one and you can create it so click on next then you have to type the password click on sign in then click on next then it will say join the windows insider program you need an account registered in the windows insider program so you have to click on register then click on sign up check the box click on submit and then click on close now it will take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done okay so once the account has been linked you will be getting this option like pick your insider setting so here you find canary dev channel beta channel but what you will have to select here will be the release preview as i showed you in the beginning that this is available for the release preview so that what you have to choose here so select release preview then you have to click on confirm click on confirm again and then it will ask you finally to restart so click on restart now All right, so the computer has been restarted now and if I right click on the windows icon and then if I go to settings, update and security. Now here you have to click again on check for update just to make sure that there is no pending update available. Okay, as I said that all the updates should be completed successfully. Okay, so again let's wait and see that if there's if there is any kind of update available or not. So now you can see that it's updating the update that exactly we require. So if you go back and read the article, this is the update KB5032278 and it's updating the same one KB5032278. That was the reason I was recommending you that keep on updating 
until you get this kind of update all right so i'm very sure now once this update will be completed we will be getting the copilot on our windows 10 so let's wait until it's all been downloaded and installed Okay, so the updates are downloaded and installed. Now, finally, we have to go with the final restart. So let me click on restart now. Okay, again, so the computer has been restarted now, but still we don't find the copilot option. As I said that this option is available only for the pro and for the home user. But if you are using the enterprise edition like me, then probably you will not find this option. But don't worry, there is a small trick that we will be using to get this option. But I'm very sure if you are using a pro edition of Windows 10 or home edition, then you will be getting the co-pilot option so far. Okay, but in case if you don't find it, even if you are a pro user, then what you have to do next, bring any of your browser. Then you have to search for the wipe tool. Okay, you will be getting the first link of GitHub. You have to open it. Then you have to scroll down. You will find wipe tool.zip folder. So you have to download it. Click on it, download it, once downloaded, open the downloaded folder. Right click on it and choose extract all. Click on extract. Now once it gets extracted, copy the path from the top. Select it, right click and choose copy. Then click on your windows search, type cmd. Right click on command prompt, click run as admin. Click on yes. Now here you have to type cd space and then make a right click and the path will be pasted now hit the enter key and now you will be inside this location so once you come to this location you will be getting a link a path you have to copy this from the description now paste here make a right click and paste it and then hit the enter key and then you will be getting a message successfully set feature configuration so now you're all done now you have to make a final restart so let me quickly go ahead and restart the computer. All right, so the finally the computer has been restarted now and now you can see that the co-pilot option has been enabled and we can see on the right hand corner and if I click on it, you can see that it's showing us over here. Okay, so you are ready to go and enjoy the co-pilot option now on your Windows 10. Now, as I said, even if you are a pro user or windows 10 home edition user still if you don't find after the update then you will have to go with the last trick that i applied so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye